Hello guys and um, welcome back to my labo Linux. So our adventure is starting right now. So like I promised, I said I'm going to start releasing a bunch of videos so that we can start our journey. And uh, it turns out that we have to install a new operating system. If you still have the CentOS one, uh, that uh, we installed previously that's fine but if you don't have we can continue uh, we can install a new one which is a uh, rocky linux so so rocky linux uh, has um, if i come here I, I go to google and i type uh, rocky linux download rocky linux has been replaced by um, i mean centos has been uh, replaced by uh rocky linux if you didn't know that rocky linux 8 and you can see here that the end of life it's may 31 may 31 2029 so here as you can see uh we are going to download this in my case i already did that so if you want you can come here you have the minimal install that we give you only the server without gui and here you have the dvd and according to your server, uh, I mean, to your architecture, you can download either this one or this one, but most of the machine are going to have this one. So you can download the, the GVD one. And once the download is done, you will have, uh, we have access to uh, the ISO image that will be produced. So I leave you on that side to download it. So let's go on the virtual box. So as, as you can see here, uh, on the previous video, I share on how we can uh, install video 19. Yeah, I share uh, how we can install Ubuntu, LVM, uh, Ubuntu and enable LVM technology on it. So today we're gonna continue with Rocky Linux. So for that, uh, really fast, I'm gonna go uh, on my virtual box and click on new. And here, I'm just going to give a Red Hat first, just to have uh, that name. And then I will give uh, Rocky because it's a Red Hat based operating system, uh, Rocky, uh, Rocky Linux, right? I will call that Rocky. I mean, okay, it, it's fine if it gives you anything else than that. It's not uh, mandatory to have the same thing. So I'm going to put it like this. You know what? For us to make sure that it's red hot. Yep, now I can put this. <laughs> okay, because of that Linux. All right, so I'm going to leave it just like this and then keep going with this here. Just for the sake of speed, I'm going to come to something like six megabyte megabyte of RAM and then come here, come here, leave it by default, dynamically allocated. And for the size of the disk uh, that you will need to install your operating system on it, uh, you're gonna keep, uh, you're not going to keep eight because if you keep eight, I'm not sure that you will be able to uh, be able to boot the system. So I will take here, I will, uh, select this and put something like 15 gig because it's enough for all the stuff that you are going to do and if we need more we are going to see how we can do that so i'm going to create and it is creating so now that is uh, available i'm going to just attach it so you can attach the iso image either here or go here to storage or you can go to settings so I will come here or go to storage traditionally as we, we do all the time and come here where it's empty. It's the same thing, just like, uh, just like here, you see optical drive. So that optical drive is the IDE. So I'm gonna come there, uh, then select the one that I want. No, not that one here. You see where, where the CD is. And then I'm gonna choose new one and in the list here i don't have any if you see this one right like this it means that it's not the right uh place where it is i'm going to click on add and then 
I'm going to move to where I have all my downloads, right? And your directory is going to be on the downloads, but for me, I move it to OS. So I'm going to come here. I have Rocky A.4 X uh, 8664. So I'm going to come there. You see, you see that uh, that ISO, it's really big, right? So I'm going to come here and then click on open. So after clicking on open, after clicking on open, it will be selected automatically. You can see that the one that is gray here, and then I will click on choose. After clicking on choose, I can just go with okay. And uh, one more last thing, I need to go to system. And I don't know if you can see, but you don't see processor here, right? because we have only one. So to make it a little bit faster, we go to system and then come to processor here. And you see I have eight CPUs. So I'm gonna enable like four, four CPUs. No, let's say three. And then I'm gonna click on okay. And right away, I'm ready to install, okay? So now I can click on start. I'm ready. I can click on start and just wait for it to come. Okay, right here, you will see that the installation is pretty much the same as CentOS, CentOS 8 or Red Hat based operating system 8, right? So by default, it's on test this media. I will go to install Rocky Linux and hit enter. Uh, I'm gonna try to uh, increase this if I can. So we can see that just like this. And depending of your system performance, I mean, your hardware performance, uh, the installation can take from uh, five minutes all the way to 40 minutes here. <laughs> yeah. So mine is a little bit slow. Yeah, I have an old Mac, uh, MacBook Pro A.2, so it's going to be a little bit slow. So bear with me, please. So here you can see uh, for Rocky Linux, you have this. For CentOS, you had something else for uh, Red Hat, you had something. So you can see here, welcome to Rocky Linux 8. And here they are inviting us to choose our language and the keyboard language as well. So I'm gonna just leave it by default because I'm going with English. And then click on, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm just waiting. Uh, okay, right here, uh, you will notice the installation process has changed a little bit compared to the other one that was uh, sent to S7. So here you can see we are Rocky, um, root password. These are the user ID, uh, settings that you can see here. But previously we had the user settings after confirming all this. So right here, I can choose my keyboard installation source, which is just the ISO image. And here I have the installation destination, which uh, needs, uh, when it's right like that, it, it means uh, basically you need to confirm that. So we come here and we are just going to do, um, you're not going to touch anything. I'm not going to touch anything. So I'm just, uh, you need to make sure that this check mark here, it's on the disk that you want to install and make sure that it's uh, the size, okay? Because if it's not that, it's gonna complain. So click on done. Uh, the KDOM is enabled. I have enough memory for that. Uh, several GUI and selection. So here, if you choose the minimum installation, you will have only the basic functionality without the GUI. You will have a text user interface, okay? 
um, and on the so you have several degrees just a server just minimum installation workstation according to what you want and on the right side here you can add uh, you have an additional software for selection environment that you can install the rpn packages uh, i can choose uh, security tools and uh, what else um, what else let's see um I'm a desktop client nope uh, I think maybe that's it. Yeah, the Windows file server. No. Okay, I think that's it for me for now. I'm gonna go here and click on done. I don't need anything else. And after doing that, uh, I will come here to networking. You see, no connected. So I'm gonna click on that. And here, I'm just gonna click here on and it's going to automatically connect my machine to internet and here is the host name that i need to change so i'm going to call that um uh, mo labo um linux right mo labo linux all right, so I'm gonna apply and right here it is. So after that, just make sure everything is set up, okay? If you want, you can come here and do some additional configurations and I don't know what you plan to do, but according to what the, your company wants, you can do that. I'm gonna click on done and then come here. Uh, if you have, uh, your company has a security policy, you can apply that. But for us, we don't have anything for now. So let's click on root. And for the pass or the root password, I'm going to call that uh, password, capital P, password one, two, three. Okay. And you can see that they say it's weak, right? Because it depends on the character that I put. If I put a character like this, they say it's still weak. Yeah, because it starts with password and here i will come with confirm the password uh, do the same thing uh, no and the password do not match uh, seriously uh it it, do, it doesn't really match okay let me start over Okay, so they say here, the password field, the dictionary check, it is based on dictionary words. You will, you will have to press done twice to confirm. It's very important to, to read. So I need to click here twice. And now I can begin the installation without creating any user, default user, but I want a user, right? And I'm gonna call that user, uh, um, um well, how i'm going to uh, to call him i'm going to call him just uh you uct uct user right so i'm going to call him like that so the, the username is going to be this and i can make it uh make it administrator right away but i don't want to do that and give his password. So I'm just giving his password as a uh, test one, two, three. You can keep the same password if you don't want to be confused. I'm going to confirm that. And then you can go here on advance and see all the stuff that you can apply to that user. Okay. So I'm going to click done twice and begin the installation. So while the installation is going to process, I'm going to pause on the video uh, recording and come back after it is done. Okay, guys, uh, I think, yeah, the, the installation is completed. So I'm just going to... Um, try to remove the C. And by the way, for people on Mac, Mac OS, you can type control, uh, I mean, command C, 
to get out of the out of the full screen mode. And what I want to do is to eject the ISO image, you know, on the physical machine when you finish, you have to remove the uh, physical machine. I mean, the, the CD and I think it did something bad here. So usually when I do that there, there's a problem. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to click here and then remove from here. And I can now start it back. And right here, I have the Rocky Linux that is ready. It's booting up. Give it a second. Let me go back in full screen mode. Yeah, from here, you need to accept the license, right? The license agreement. So you can see here, you have to click on it. And that's the Rocky Linux era uh, license agreement that you have to accept. And uh, here, I'm gonna click on accept. You can read through before accepting. Uh, for me, I already did that. So I'm gonna click here on done and then Finish configuration. And wait for the final run level according to the option that I choose. And mine was server with GUI. So you can see my user is here. It's a nice view, right? And I can just click on him and type the password. Can I remember the password? Yep, I can. And voila. So everything is set up and this is a uh, Rocky Linux that is ready. Now just a couple of settings, welcome the language and the uh, keyboard. And here I like to keep it private and I'm gonna skip that and start using Rocky Linux. Exactly the same thing like uh, uh, Red Hat operating system of CentOS. And here you have all your menus and all other stuff that you need. So that's, uh, that's all for now. Uh, next time, I think we're gonna start exploring uh, this uh, tool, uh, I mean, this operating system. And that's it for my uh, recording. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, sorry if it, if it took a little bit more of time, I had to explain some stuff, but I think uh, by the end, if you are able to do it, it's, it means that it's simply, be, it's simply great, right? So uh, I'm gonna stop the recording here, but before that, I have all the videos that you can watch and I'm also going to ask you to uh, like, uh, comment, share, subscribe and activate the notification bell so you can get my all my videos through the notification and uh, see you at the next video. Thank you and Happy New Year.